So how are we doing guys and welcome it's Kraken here back in seven days to die the dummies guide and we're day number 14 it's going to be our second horde and there it is four o'clock in the morning so it's been quite noisy upstairs there's been a lot of commotion going on but nobody actually tried to make it down let's just oh hello Having some ladder issues. Let's just make sure nobody was digging. It didn't sound like they were. No, it doesn't look like we've got any issues here. What I would like to do is make a pathway. Probably somewhere over here at a big diagonal going down to our base down here. Well, we have got somebody over here. Good morning, good morning. Oh, got no blue stamina. We're still having stamina issues. Right, we've got three points. Three, three points. Right, if we put one into there, that'll take us to level five. We've got to, got to get, get a bit careful about our armour, because that is getting a little bit on the heavy side. We've got Pummel Pete, or we've got Sexy Saurus. We'll definitely put one into Sexy Saurus, ready for tonight. Because we have got to fend off the horde tonight, and obviously we have made a melee-style base. But, um, yeah, all in all, everything seems to be pretty good down here. So, it's going to take a little bit of work, and it's quite big. I reckon we could do something good down here, but um, I want to go down and see the trader... We've got the buried supplies to go and do. In fact, where is that buried supplies? It's in the middle of our town, actually, right next to our hall base. Okay. And that's from this trader over here. So let's go and do that buried supplies. Maybe pop down and see the trader down here. Come back, hand in that supplies. And we'll check the hall base on the way through. And just make sure everything's hunky-dory there, ready for tonight. So, let's get cracking. How long were we looking for a bloody bear? We looked everywhere for a bear because we needed that testosterone. As soon as we get it, up shows a bear. Right, we're going to take care of you. Now come on up here. Ourselves nice and high and up out the way. Now hopefully he doesn't get out of my sights. Come on. Beautiful. There we go. Right, so here we go. Now, this is always a bit of a pain because this asphalt is an absolute nightmare to dig through. Now, do the lucky looter goggles. Right, if we put these on, it'll make the radius slightly smaller. So we put those on. Should have made this radius. Yeah, I think it's brought it in here. It's going to make this radius slightly smaller. So it's worth wearing the lo looting goggles for that. Now, we can dig under this road, which is what we're going to have to do. Hopefully, it'll bring it away from the side of the road. A little chicken running over there. We started to um, work our way through the animal kills. So we've killed the bear, killed the chicken, killed the rabbits. We need a boar and a stag. Well, we killed plenty of stags in the past. And a boar shouldn't be too difficult because we have got graces marked on the map. So we will be heading over there and that will sort out the boars at some point. There's some good loot down there when you get your game stage nice and high. Oh, that was nice and easy. I was getting a little bit worried because it started moving it away from here into the road. But, um, okay, buried supplies, level two. Oh, well, we'll read that. 
Um, I can't remember what scrap armor I'm already wearing. As you might have noticed, I've brought a load of stuff here uh, ready f to take over to the hall base because we are right next door to it. Right, let's grab that. Let's get out of here. Oh, here we go. The zombies are spawning in. Sort you out. You're not part of the quest, but you were just hanging around down here anyway. I might build myself this new baseball bat for tonight. Cool. I think I killed you with a glancing blow. We've got two homers over here. Let's sort you out first. Got the cheap shot on me. Come on. Right, there we go. There's one. Keep our stamina nice and high. Cool. Beautiful. That wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad at all. Right, let's get ourselves... Oh, the 14 has turned red. Here we go, our beloved horde base. Hopefully we won't have any collapsing problems today. We've got our floating chest. Right, what did we have down here anyway? Because I couldn't quite remember. We had a bit of eye and I brought some to repair just in case. I brought some cobblestone down, which was a good job I did. Put the dubsy down here as well. Some extra spare ammo. And I thought I'd bring some coffees as well. Right, got a hammer down here. We actually we're only wearing level three, so perfect. Well that was a help then. So we can sell that to the trader in a minute. Let's just quickly sort out Modifier. We've got another Homer down there. We'll keep that on us to sell to the trader. That stuff can just stay here for the second. Let's change our goggles back over. Come on, Homer. Beautiful. Well, the, looks like the base is still working nicely. Now... I will do... We're not going to turn anything into concrete tonight. I brought some cobblestone over as well. I want these pillars down here to turn into cobblestone. Because I definitely do not want anything breaking. And we'll turn that into cobblestone as well. Right, well it looks like the base is, um, is all good. So let's go over and see... Ooh. Let's go and see the other trader down in the desert biome. So it's been a long old while, but we finally made it back to the desert. And this was the construction house. Uh, when I get some stamina back, I'll quickly show you. Right, come on. That's it, keep moving. There we go. This was the construction house that I was talking about that you guys didn't get to see because I had that um, corrupt recording. But in here... This was all covered in cobblestone and cement. This was a big pile of sand here. Now, this is sand even... Obviously, we're in the desert biome, so I didn't really need to dig it up. But I did it more just to show you that you've got a big pile of sand here. So if you're not anywhere near a desert, and this is in the forest biome or any other biome, that will still be sand. You've got plenty of rocks here and all different bits and bobs there. So we did go through that house completely all right i think we've woken some people up in there how are we looking for money 10 grand Just woken somebody up somewhere we do need to map out this town because we haven't done that yet now have you got anything you want anything worth buying jailbreakers sugar butts a bit of coffee right Let's go and say hello to Jen. Now, we've got a job from you already. We know that. Right. What have you got for me to buy? Because we haven't seen you in a little while. And always... Now we don't need it. You've got a cigar for sale. Now, I thought that was going to be the case. 18,000 Jukes and we could have ourselves a motorcycle. You restock in two days' time. We're going to show you that. Two days you restock and we could have a motorbike. 
which would completely change everything. Right, okay. You just brightened my day. I'm glad I could help you. Now, Junkta Arrow, uh, Ammo. What is going on out here? Well, that was fun. Every time there's a Horde Knight, every time we get a wandering Horde try and come and sort us out. Right. That sorted you out. We need 8,000 Dukes. Right. What time is it? 11 o'clock. We've got a Horde Knight tonight, but our base is okay. Day 14, we should be fine. Right, let's... Uh, I really want to check out this town. We need stuff to sell. Doing quests are our best way of making dupes, so I think we're going to head down in this direction. Because we can't find too much good loot at the moment. Game stage 37, I believe, something like that. Let's go and do this quest. So it actually looks like we're coming into a whole new town here. Is this the book house? Yeah, I believe it is. Oh, I do like this place. Oh, always the way. When we've got a busy day and we've got things to do, it sends me to actually what is a really good house to come through twice, so that's something we're going to need to do. Wakey, wakey. Cool. Hiding around the corners. Alright, there we go. Got the extra skill point. We are looking... Oh, hello. Just looking for stuff to sell. One lot of tea. And a toilet pistol, because I'll quite happily sell that. I'll sell my left arm to get a motorbike. Maybe not my left arm. My left arm could be quite useful. Oh. As you can see, as soon as we start going up in the quest, things do start getting a little bit harder. Why have you got a fridge in your front room? Why is it not here? Crazy people. Oil. Ah. Oh. This is what I've been looking for. Steak and potato. Now, eggs and bacon is a very good meal. The problem is, we don't check eggs anymore. So now, we can actually make ourselves a slightly better meal. we got plenty of meat, because we keep killing bears. Now, junk turret ammo used to be very good to sell. Can we still get a price on it? We can still make it. Right, let's start making some now. Because that might be a way to go. Scrap iron, nice and easy to get. Sit down, Homer. Hold on, right. Oh, I don't know if there's anything up there. Let's have a quick check. Oh, backpack. Flashlight. Right, up we go. Up you get. You looking at Ben? Some old money that always helps. Right, what have we got going on in here? Some bones, right. Sell price. As you can see, that's already 21 dukes just for that. So, oh, we got a light. Oh, hello. Schematic there. 
for going on our guns. Very nice. So I've got a whole climbing frame set up going on in here. Chemistry station. Another beaker, because of course we get beakers galore. A crawler over there. What are you hiding? Some noise downstairs, right. Hmm, very interesting noise. Um, is that actually a cop or no, it's just a Hawaiian. Now, is that going to fall down all the way through? Let's get our gun out just to make sure. He doesn't seem too happy. I wasn't going to take any risks with him. Now, was this floor meant to fall out? Yes, it was. Into a pit of zombies. Right, you better not blow that car up, because that could cause me some issues. Come on, guys, I'm over here. A workbench down here as well. And it's a working workbench, I guarantee you though. What well, now what's going on? I guarantee you though, when we start the quest, that will stop working. The amount of times I've seen that happen. Right, will you stay out of this, you right. Well, we don't need a working workbench down here. Let's get our lucky looter goggles on. Take some chicken. Right, what have we got here? Ammo pile. Oh, so we've got a rad remover. Level tier 6. Now, we're going to just sell that, because that's worth some good money. Scrap that, because we need all the iron we can. We'll scrap those as well. Um, double storage pocket mod. Now, I believe we've got a single on something, haven't we? Yep, yeah, modify. So you can't put more than one pocket mod on, which is a bit of a shame. But there we go, we can upgrade that. Okay, scrap. Scrap, take. Oh. Scrap, scrap, take. First aid bandage, though, very nice. Now, I am... Oh, right, I'm going to take that apart and then let's start this quest again. Well, there you go. There's another construction house. So if you didn't know what I was talking about, that is what we were digging up. And there is loads of it. You can see it through the window here as well. And... You've got a cement mixer you can always check out. And you've got a a wood saw over here, which is now just decorative. You don't actually need it, but you can wrench it up. And a dumpster over here. And there's some good loot in the bottom of here as well. So, have we got one opposite as well? That's a slightly smaller one opposite, but um, this looks like a good little town. Right, let's get this... Um, Let's get this quest started.
Right, our supplies are there. Well, that was easy. Right, we are going to go to that final loot, though. Beautiful. No time for messing around today. Let's check the car. Okay, a few, few things there. Right, let me get this opened up and get my l lucky loser goggles on. So as I predicted, the workbench is not working this time round. Always the way. Right, we've got some friends over here once again. Come on. Right, I sorted you out. Ammo, what are you going to give me? 762. Another anvil. Which we're going to struggle to take polymers. We've got plenty of polymers. Ooh, now that's going to be worth, yeah? That's worth a couple of quid to sell. That's not worth bugger all. That's not worth bugger all. Robotic parts, I'm not really that fussed about. We don't need the blunderbuss ammo. Um, oh, my dear Lord. Crazy. Right, okay, we're going to come back. Because I want all of that as well. I'm going to go and grab the bike. Come back, pick this stuff up. We're going to head back to the trader. Right, here we go. As encumbered as you like. Now, we need Dukes. Make sure we've got... Yeah, make sure we've got our XP goggles on. I knew you had it in you. Good work. Beautiful. Right, which one's worth the most to sell? Probably that. Yeah, right. Okay, we just need to quickly sell you something, Jen. Sorry. So, we've got to sell you that. We've got to sell you all of that. And we're going to sell you that. It's not worth much. Yeah, we're going to sell you that. I should have repaired it really first, but oh, oh well. Um, sell you a beaker. We've got plenty of beakers. Okay, so we've actually made ourselves over a thousand dukes just there alone. Shotgun parts, robotic parts. I just right. knew you. Wow, I didn't think you had it in you. Good That's job. got us also another. Not very many dukes at all. Um, okay, do you have another job? I want something nice and close. Tier two. Uh, fetch and a clear. Some work? I think, son. I knew you wouldn't let me down. The harder the the harder the quest. Usually better it is. I'm just going to quickly get myself some food. As it is already seven o'clock. I'm going to leave you there alone. How many dukes have we now got? I didn't sell you the sledgehammer. We sell that to the other one. That's okay. That's 1,400. So we're up to 11,400 dukes now. And we need 18,000. And we've got till day 16. So we've got basically only tomorrow left now. But we have got another one to hand in over here. I don't know if we're going to get time for that. We might be going straight to the hall base. Let's see how long it takes me to get over there. Right, I'm risking it for the chocolate biscuit here. 20 to 9. Let's get ourselves in here. Oh, we are so encumbered. Here, meds, drugs, booze. Ratchet. Beautiful. Right, we're going to definitely be taking that. Do you have any other jobs? Um, you looking yeah, whatever. Dukes? No, actually... Come on. The Duke's going to slap me around if I don't make my quota this week. I we need tier two. We job. need money. Okay. Be right. Careful and sell you get yourself killed. that. We might even sell that, depending on money. 2,000. Right. You come back and see me sometime. Yeah, yeah, Jim, we will do. Skull crushers. I haven't got time to go back to the base and get ours. I know we shouldn't really be spending money, but we kind of need to survive tonight if we're going to even try buying a motorcycle. Right. 
Three minutes to nine. Let's get to the hall base. Right, well, we haven't got time to do any of the improvements that I wanted to do. Let's get rid of everything we can. Painkillers. Right. Um, we're going to eat. We're going to drink as much coffee as we can. Right, start eating. Right, we get the pistol on us. Yeah, yeah, it's not complaining about that. We're going to get the dubsy on us. We're going to get the Molotovs on us. We've got the Skull Crushers here. Come on, carry on eating. For the Molotovs. Scrap boots. What am I wearing now? I'm wearing scrap boots anyway, so we'll keep on the ones we're wearing. Grab some more 762. Just in case. We've got the repair kits on us. Scrap that. This thing needs to be repaired. Am I missing anything here? Yep, we need the iron. And where's number four that needs to go into? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No, I can't even count. There we go. Right. That's repaired. Drink a coffee. We got the iron. We got our XP goggles on. And the first thing we get is a dog. Come on. Down you go. Thank you. Wait for everyone to turn up. There they are. Take the Skull Crushers. I've been buying these all week, ready for tonight. And what did I do? Left them all at home. There we go. Oh, Christ. How did you make it up here? I have no idea how you made it up here. I haven't got time to worry about that at the moment. But I am going to put another point into Pummel Pete. Come on. Oh, big mama. Right. Let's just let you burn. Oh, I need the wood on me. Have I got the wood on me? Because I might need to repair the sides as well. Yeah, the wood's on me anyway. There we go. This is why I bought this gun when I had the time. We got dogs galore tonight. There we go. With these skull crushers, we don't even need to really power attack. A combination of two. Try and keep the stamina just in case. Now there is a few things we can do to sort ourselves out about these guys jumping over. Oh, I'll put myself on fire. Alright, let's have another coffee. That's two that have made it up and over. Oh, 
I'd like to know how. I don't know if it's something to do with that radio tower. It must, must be, I know, climbing on top of each other or something. Ourselves a spider here as well. Make sure we keep our repairing up. Right, I'm going to let you guys burn. I don't know, are they climbing on top of each other? Oh my god. Right, come on down boys. My god. Oh my god. Well, that pucking me up a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. We got all kinds of things wrong with us. We're gonna have to make this baby break for this place. Put some side railings up. Right, take a painkiller. We're not going to take any more risks tonight. Luckily, we can shoot them through the railings. Now, the infection is not going to be a problem because we'll have. We've got stuff back of there. What does that need? Splint. Right. We actually got a splint earlier on. I still got that over here? Yep. There we go. Splint. What does that take? I think you take a sewing kit. Sewing kit. Food. Well, you're just going to have to go hungry for a second. Some of this we can sell. We're not going to risk that again. Doesn't sound like we've got many left. We've got plenty of nine seven six two, sorry. <clears throat> this is what I was trying to check. Oh, that got a bit dicey, didn't it? Where's the last one? Not actually doing too bad on health now, actually. I'd like to know where this last one was, though, before jumping down. Where are you? I want to take this barbed wire off here so I can jump onto that wall if need be. Need to put some ladders up here as well. Because what happens when you keep yourself too busy? Right, let's put our lucky ludogogs on. We've got some food here. Some money. Well, that's definitely going to help us. Where are you? 
Oh, you've made it inside. How did you get inside? Have you guys made a hole? Or did you respawn inside? I think some of the um, guys must have been trying to get to me. I don't know, they, they shouldn't be able to jump that high. They've gone up the radio tower and fallen down. Uh, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Maybe I'll learn something when I watch the recording back. But what else have we got here? Some beer, some first aid kits, a hunting rifle. So we got a bit of stuff here that we can sell. Now we do have this ratchet now. Now this ratchet is a bit of a dilemma because it is very, very good. Very, very good. Much better than the wrench. What have I done with it? There it is. It is worth 763 jukes though. He might be being sold. You're definitely going to get repaired. And sold on. 13,000 13, jukes. So we're not doing bad. We're not doing bad at all. Guys, that's where I'm going to leave you for today's episode. Call me as stupid as you like down in the comments. They're always welcome. Big thumbs up on the video if you've enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.